And welcome to your Gold Market Update for today, the 28th of July. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst, Gold Markets here with your daily meander around markets. And of course, an eventful night last night with the US market surging higher after the Fed decision to raise rates by 0.75%. Bit of a relief rally, perhaps, that the Fed didn't go the full 1% as some economists were predicting. And of course, we're getting continued generally positive earnings, which are helping also. And what we saw on in the indices was moving to key price points with the S&P 500 crawling over 4,000, the Nasdaq just slightly over the 12,000 mark. So those key psychological levels for the market as well as technical. US futures, however, are mildly negative in Asia after meta earnings disappoint. Once again, Facebook gets a little hit after the bell. And we saw after hours trading down around 4.5%. However, Asian indices have followed that positive US lead. The ASX is up around about 0.75%, but off the highs of the session at this stage. European futures also suggest a positive open. The US dollar index dropped again to test support at three-week lows, as we've referenced before, after a one-day move to the upside on the previous day. Gold consequently moves higher to a technically important 1735. Looks like an important resistance level. And oil continues to trade in a tight range, as it has done all week, currently around 106 on the Brent crude contract. We saw the VIX drop to new three-month lows, edging downwards as markets become more positive generally. And copper has continued its recovery rally, along with most of the base metals. A Bitcoin surprised by breaking to the upside outside of that 21,500 range, but paused beneath last week's highs and certainly some caution still there it is another big earnings day today we've got apple and amazon after the bell more big tech coming out of course and then we've got ma pfizer and merck latter two in the pharmaceutical space be interesting to see how they're performing on the data front we've got german cpi euro consumer confidence and us gdp and weekly jobs due all of which are significant data points of course Let's just check out a couple of charts that are catching our eye today. On the ASX, on the back of that copper move higher, we're seeing Oz Minerals, ticker code OZL, breaking through a level that it struggled with over the last couple of weeks at 17.62. Plenty of upside in this because it has been pretty well battered really since the end of March. So one certainly to keep an eye on and we see it's trading towards the high of the session if we look at today's candle. A couple of hours into the market and looks as though we could be up for a move possibly as high as $20. So certainly one to keep an eye on. In the FX front, lots of price action going on after that interest rate decision, but things have calmed down. But the yen is looking strong, particularly against the euro. We note you can see on this hourly chart, we've broken through this 138.52. We think there might be a move down to 138.20, so around about 20 pips down from where we are now. And if we break through that level, we see a fairly significant move down around about 60 or 70 pips before we hit the next key level. So that could be one to keep an eye on over the course of the next couple of hours or so. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.